Here's another strange technology I found uh, on the same site, Stonian Man, Conian Man. This is um, a large quartzite stone weighing about 100 kilos. It's got a tapered chisel end at this end with the blade coming down tapered here and along the sides and along the other side and then tapered down at the front and it's the same on the other side see how it goes down here here across down symmetrical on both sides this in the middle there's this hole with a half split pebble with a groove just above it. I think that um, twine was put in here when wet. Um, the pebble was put in to hold it in place and then it was tied around and there's evidence of tie marks. The other end is a beautiful um, horizontal cut, um, a vertical cut. It's got tapered here and on the other side here and underneath and on top. Now it weighs about a hundred kilos, it's too much um, really for one person to lift but a friend of mine is going to attempt to turn it over now just onto its side. You'll, you'll see that the base of it is aerodynamic and rounded which also suggests that it was used to swing. See this blade? It's tapered to a nice six inch chisel point here. Tapered along here and there and tapered back along the top so that I think that this was either tied to a lower branch of a large tree to actually fell the tree or maybe used on an A-frame. Uh, it could be turned round so you get a horizontal cut or a vertical cut. It weighs about, um, about 100 kilos as I said and um, the top of it is pitted although there's a lot of moss on it at the moment you can't really see them very well. Um, this would have been perfect for not only cutting down trees but also would have been used possibly to make boats using large trees. Quartzite of course is a much denser material than flint. Um, the interesting thing is that that's the second one I found. Here is another version of it which is much more well used about the same size but this one's only got a point at one end and it's quite heavily used but again it has a hole in the side and evidence of tie marks on both sides. This is an unusual tool, um, but typical of the tools found on this site. Very unusual, but makes utter sense that this was used for heavy duty jobs like making boats, using it to swing. It also is anvil shaped of course, and a lot of these holes on top which you can't really see now because of the moss that's grown in it, but these would have been perfect places to actually act as um, an anvil to actually strike stones to put them in there. And the other one also has the same pits on the top. You can see these a bit more clearly. Anyway, more interesting technology from Colney and Man. Thank you.